Are you getting a media files or missing message in Ableton Live? If so, don't freak out. I'm gonna show you how to solve it in less than 30 seconds. Okay, so I've got my Ableton Live set open. I'm gonna double click on this message to go to our file manager. Now it's really important that you know where the samples that are missing are on your computer. Uh, maybe they're on your desktop, maybe they're in a certain folder, maybe they're on an external hard drive. Plug that external hard drive back in. Maybe you purchase them from somewhere, re-download those and put them on your computer somewhere. Uh, maybe they're in the cloud, download them from the cloud and put them back on your computer. Now let's tell Live where those samples are. So I'm gonna click set folder. I know they're in the samples folder on my desktop, so I'm gonna choose it and click open. I wanna make sure that both of these options are disabled, search folder is enabled, and I'm gonna hit go. So Ableton's gonna search for those, try to automatically replace them, let's see what it does. Perfect, candidates were found and replaced automatically. In most cases, this is what you're gonna see and everything's gonna be good at this point. But it's possible you see a message like this. Let's run this again. I'm gonna change my folder here. I'm gonna put it to my desktop because I've specifically created an opportunity for chaos. This time the message tells me new candidates were found. That means there's duplicates of my candidates and Live needs me to provide a little more information to try to find the correct samples. It's okay, don't freak out. Click okay here. We're gonna click this question mark next to one of our samples and we see two different samples here. I'm gonna preview it. Okay, that's the one I know, so I'm gonna double click and I get a message where Live is asking, do you want us to try to automatically replace your other samples based on the location of this one? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna click yes. It's gonna run that whole search again. And this time it's gonna tell me, hey, we found all your samples and they were replaced automatically. Now at this point, if Live still can't find your samples, that means they are not on your computer. So again, go through that process of plugging in an external hard drive, go through the process of re-downloading them from the cloud. Um, if you're on a Mac, make sure you have disabled again the iCloud sync feature. I've got a video in the description of this to show you how to do that. Or if you purchase them from somewhere, re-download them to make sure they are on your computer. Now, I wanna show you how to prevent this from ever happening again and talk about why it happened in the first place. But before I do that, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon. I post a new tutorial every single day, sometimes like this, showing you how to solve a problem, sometimes showing you a brand new skill like how to run tracks in Ableton Live. I don't want you to miss it, so subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now let's talk about why this happens in the first place. Um, when you drag samples into Ableton Live, Ableton does not automatically copy those samples and bring them into your live set. Now for some people that's frustrating. It's like, why wouldn't Ableton do that? But you gotta think they're trying to save space on your computer hard drive so you don't have 7,000 kick drums. For instance, if you use a kick drum sample across all of your projects. So a way around that is Ableton gives us this feature called collect all and save. What that's gonna do is it's gonna go find where those samples are on, on your computer and it's gonna copy those into your live project folder so that you never lose them ever again. So here's the process that I want you to do. When you're working on a live project, bring your samples uh, into your live project, save your live project, and as the last step, every time you use a live set, I want you to do collect all and save. Here's how we do that. So we're gonna go up to the file menu here. We're gonna click collect all and save. Um, we wanna enable yes files from elsewhere. I typically just leave this set to the default. If you aren't using files from other projects, your user library or your factory packs, you could disable that to speed up this process and then click okay. And when you click okay, Live is gonna automatically grab those samples from wherever they are on your computer and bring them into your live project folder. Okay, so I've got my live set saved. I use collect all and save. Here's the most important final step in this process. When you go to move your live set from your computer to another computer, you wanna make sure that you use this live project folder. You don't wanna move just your live set, you wanna move the entire project folder. Now, if you're interested in learning how to move this in a way to make sure that no samples go missing and make sure you're doing it correctly, then click the link in the description of this video or click this link that I posted oh, right up there and you're gonna learn how to share and save your live files properly uh, without any issues. Again, as a reminder, if you enjoy content like this, hit the subscribe button, enable the bell icon, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.